all and welcome to the first Air Show Stuff Update. Air Show Stuff Update is going to be where you can find exciting videos and photos from our reporters in the field, as well as previews for the upcoming Air Show Stuff Magazine issue. Let's get this bad boy rolling, shall we? Yes, get First, we have the unveiling of the new Boeing 747-8i Intercontinental. This enormous aircraft was debuted last month to an estimated crowd of 10,000 people at Boeing's plant in Everett, Washington. The 747-8i is 18 feet longer than the 400 model and will carry more people and cargo further, quieter, and faster than before. And if you're watching this, there's no doubt in my mind you have heard about the Centennial of Naval Aviation this year. Throughout the entire year, you'll see special aircraft painted up in heritage and commemorative schemes touring the airshow circuit from coast to coast. In fact, not too long ago, a huge celebration was held in San Diego, California to kick off the Centennial. And like a good team, we had someone there to cover it. So be on the lookout through this issue and next for vivid photos and further details about the remarkable moment in naval aviation history. While we had photographers in Seattle and San Diego, we had others in the sky around Carso Gorge in a T-34 and at runway side at NAFL Central in Southern California. Our reporter outside San Diego was given a fantastic flight inside Warbirds West Air Museum's T-34 Mentor and alongside the other six as they traveled inland to the gorge and out over San Diego Bay in a flight to remember. And back in El Centro, another of our reporters were enjoying the deafening roar of U.S. Navy jets tearing up the tarmac. F-A-18 Super Hornets, EA-6B Prowlers, and AV-8B Harriers along with other military hardware rocketed down the runway and worked the pattern near feet in this lucky dude. Well, that's about it for today. But before I go, I'd like to leave you with a little bit of nostalgia as we take a look back into the previous season.